Well, I'll find solution. Okay. And in our solution, we are united to uh, open data, the G service, the analytics, and the forecasting product culture. We have three main audiences. They are farmers, the market players, and the state. There are 40,000 platforms in Ukraine, and 100 of them are the holding the big one. They all own about $20 billion of revenue annually, and they are low efficient, and they are sold as housing. The market players are the traders, and the people who are trading the fertilizers and the chemistry for agriculture, and there's about 11,520 companies in Ukraine with $17.3 billion of revenue annually. And the market is unknown, and they are taking risks and lost profits. And the state is the biggest landowner, uh, about 30 million hectares of land farms, as a market regulator, and 11 persons of budget are coming from the agriculture. And the state lost 50,000 hectares of land farms annually because of sell as housing and erosion. And it's about, by data from the World Bank, $10 billion annual loss. And the farmers like to be effective. They like to, to keep safe soil, and they like to spare resources and money. The market players, they like to know more about their customer and to see their direct problems to offer direct solution. And the state, they like to know uh, what the state of the soil is, to operate it and enter the soil saving strategy. Now. The state uh, trying to implement a solution based on the paperwork, and it's not effective. It's not working at all. And the farmers, for forecasting, they're using NDVI. And here you can see the two photos from the satellite, that's Landsat 5, with a difference by one day. And here you can see on the photo on the right, the colors are dark, that means the vegetation is in good condition. And the photo on the left, which is more light, means the vegetation in bad condition. And there is no any possibility that such changes can be in one day. So, we are offering a solution, able to spare 30% of the cost farmers use to grow their yield. We will show their problems to the market players and the traders, which will allow them to offer direct solution by, with fertilizers and uh, agrochemistry. And we will give a state possibility to save soil. Okay, then underline magic. Uh, the sensor we are developing is able to sense the absolute measurement parameters by a uh, special correcting system, which is based on the Teletine Hyperspectral Correction Sensor. And this is a demo. Uh, we use the quadcopter to analyze the field with uh, multispectral imaging, which allows to predict the yield, uh, to monitor the state of the crop, and to introduce the technical chart for the machines uh, to run the, uh, run the agriculture in automation. And that's a part of demo of verb service, which was development for Ministry of Agriculture and Food of Ukraine. Uh, to represent the soil chart of Ukraine based on the open data of agrochemical passports. The market. Uh, now the market of agro consulting in Ukraine is about $10 million annually, and the world is about $11 billion. It's now some information dated by 2015. And Ukraine is one of the leaders of the food expert in the world, but among the last places uh, about agro-consulting. We believe in 2012 the uh, market in Ukraine will be about $1 billion and total war market will be $15 billion and let's create the $4 billion opportunity. The competitors. The quite similar projects are Gamaya, this uh, Switzerland-based company. They are developing their own sensor, their own software. The Synergy is Australian-based corporation. They are normally trade with electricity, but now they are busy with agriculture as well. They are more pure in this uh, Southern American project. And uh, there are the guys who produce hardware only, the Parrot and the Pro. And out of competition is uh, ESD Soft and Teledyne Technologies. You have 30 seconds. Yeah, OK. It's about. Now advantages. And we are targeting the small and medium land farmers 
and we are bringing them solution affordable only for corporations by now. The business model. Uh, we are offering uh, hardware and software as service as AgriSense for farmers by $1 per hectare annual fee. Uh, for agro consulting companies is $1,000 annually. And for traders and agrochemistry to see the problems of their customers and to see all the customer list about $3,000 annually. That would seem save me and all the people have more than five years experience in project management and our advisors. Okay, so now we have a ready working hardware uh, and uh, And thank you. Yeah, okay. <laughs> In your competition slide, uh, you didn't mention Coropio, the company that works in Ukraine. How are you different from that company? Uh, I actually don't know much about Coropio. Uh, but our main, they're actually developing the, the, same, the same system as we do, but we're using different technology and a totally new uh, spectral correction system, which is not present on the market now. The most close to us is uh, a solution by MicroSense called Sequoia, and they're using a correction sensor covering all light diapason available in atmosphere, and we're developing the close narrow spectral band sensor for correction. But Cropia is uh, mainly solving the same problem for the clients with the software, but you are doing a lot of hardware stuff to, stuff to solve the same problem. This is how you differ. So my question to you, can you do like, like they do, by using software with no hardware? Uh, I think uh, our, our main advantage is the hardware, which allows to get uh, very accurate readings. Okay. No, because most uh, multispectral cameras have the same problem the satellite have. The satellite is using the same spectral camera as a uh, small one on drones. Is that essential to the clients? Yeah, it is. Today we get a meeting with Swarov, and uh, they say that our solution is one of the best. Okay. Have you already received donation, or it will be uh, the main? There is a part of the project with Jay just for the state, and we are now uh, no, not yet. And uh, now we are cooperating with Vladislava Lutitska uh, of Ministry of uh, Agriculture and Food uh, to run the pilot project in Odessa and Lviv. And now we are assembling a team who will be busy with the data opening, the digitalization of data, and uh, creating the GIS source service for that one. From whom are you going to receive this donation? Uh, this data was uh, gathered by the uh, Order of Ministry of Agriculture Fund number 435, something like that from year 2011, and it is stored locally in the regional departments of Institute of Cell Safe of Ukraine. And the sensor that you use, you, you buy the sensor, you're not developing No, yourself, we're developing right? the sensor. You're developing yeah, yourself? Uh, it's a charge coupled device uh, covered with a special microfilter matrix. The microfilter matrix is uh, designed the same way as a normal RGB microfilter matrix but with a narrow spectral band filters. And you have a prototype already? Uh, we have a prototype uh, uh, able to, uh, for hypothesis testing, but we don't have yet a prototype able to fly with a drone. Thank you. Uh, we have time for one question, if any. Okay, no, thank you. Yeah, thank you.